everyone. Today, it is the evening of June 21st and I very spontaneously thought of filming like a 24 hour, 48 hour read-a-thon type of situation. I'm just gonna vlog for the next two days because I have some very exciting things. I'm also gonna change in my outfit because I need to look a little bit more comfy, okay? I'll be back in a sec with my pajamas on. Here we go. That's better. I also need to take out my jewelry, but what is so exciting, and I haven't told you guys yet because the past two weeks and the next upcoming three weeks have been and are very intense. Hence why I've been a bit missing in action, especially I feel like on Instagram, but on YouTube also a little bit because I feel so drained. And editing, I don't know if you know, but it takes a lot of time. At least the way that I edit or want to edit my videos sometimes, it takes a lot of time with like the animations and everything. And sometimes I just don't have that time. And then it makes me feel stressed and overwhelmed. So there are a couple of live changes. And I think the most major one, which I want to take you on with in my journey in the next two days is that I have a dorm again in Utrecht. Because if you didn't know, I finished biomedical sciences in February, but I'm doing like a second bachelor. I'm switching my degree and I'm gonna do the bachelor of psychology starting from September on at the University of Utrecht as well. I've already studied there. I love Utrecht, but I'm so excited to make this like new start because I feel like I haven't really lived the student life. By that I don't mean partying and everything because that's still not really my thing. I just want to do more things and meet more people with psychology in contrast to biomedical sciences. But new dorm, new roommates. I'm really excited for the new start and in the next two days I will be going to thrift shops and to Ikea obviously because I do have some furniture but not a lot anymore. That's what we're gonna do. I'm so excited to have kind of like my second chance at university with psychology. I'm so excited to study it. I'm super interested in this topic and I feel like it's much more my thing but I'm also really excited at this new opportunity of living there and hopefully just having a better time than I had with biomedical sciences. When I talk about these kinds of things, I always feel like I'm boring you. So I'm sorry in advance. I hope that you're still watching, but I'm also reading like a good book. I'm really enjoying this one. And also this video is kindly sponsored by Reedsy Discovery. I've talked about them in a previous video. This is kind of like a reminder for their charity reading challenge. So if you like reading and you like helping out other people, then their reading challenge is definitely something for you because when you read a book and you write a 200 word review on Reedsy, you are raising money for Room to Read which is a charity that wants to decrease gender inequality and illiteracy. So thank you so much again to Reedsy Discovery for sponsoring today's video. So I will be like reading a book and reviewing it on their website as well so that you guys can see the process, how easy it is, and if you just upload a review before June, everything is okay. So you are probably wondering which book am I reading and the one that I'm like currently reading is Vicious by V.E. Schwab. I had finished a couple of books for a secret TBR video which is coming to you super super soon and they were a lot of like contemporaries or like they had some magical elements to it but I just really wanted to have a standalone fantasy book and not just like magic gold stuff and whimsy. I think you can classify fishes as a fantasy, urban fantasy. Oh my gosh don't talk to me about genres because apparently I just I don't know any of them <laughs> but I have read a couple of books by Victoria Schwab well I've actually just read the whole Darker Shade of Magic trilogy by her and this one has been on my shelves for a long time a lot of my friends love it Leonie from the book Leo but also Jasmine from Jasmine the Reader so in this story you follow Victor and Eli and they start out as college roommates brilliant arrogant lonely boys who recognized the same sharpness and ambition in one another a shared research interest in adrenaline, near-death experiences, and seemingly supernatural events reveals an intriguing possibility that under the right conditions, someone could develop extraordinary abilities. I love stories that deal with stuff like that. But when their thesis moves from the academic to the experimental, things go horribly wrong. They become EOs, extraordinaries, 
leaving a body in their wake and turning on each other. Ten years later, Victor has escaped from prison and is determined to get his revenge on the men who put him there, aided by a young girl with the ability to raise the dead. Eli has spent the years hunting down and killing every EO he can find, convinced that they are a crime against God, all except his sidekick, a woman whose power is persuasion and whom he cannot defy. Armed with terrible power on both sides, Driven by the memory of betrayal and loss, the arch nemeses have set a course for revenge. But who will be left alive at the end? I mean, doesn't that sound intriguing to you? So I'm almost halfway through actually already. I'm on page 180 and this is so nice about this book. It has short chapters, which I love. <laughs> I don't know if you have this as well, but if we take two books, they're both 500 pages long, but one has short chapters and the other has chapters that are 30 pages long, I always finish the one with short chapters so much quicker. Because then you see that a chapter is two pages and you're like, I could read that. Of course I can. Maybe the next chapter is a little longer and then you see it's five pages and you're like, that's only five pages. Of course I can do that. And you just keep on going like that. So yeah, short chapters, but they also switch in timeline but i loved especially seeing the timeline in the beginning of how kind of victor and eli met and how they were in college and i felt like that went over quite quickly i don't think we'll go back to that timeline so i think that's a bit of a shame but i do love seeing everyone's as like superpowers so much but it is a very dark book like shockingly dark in my opinion because this is kind of like a mild spoiler but i just want to like talk about it because it could definitely be very triggering for some people. They find out very early on in the book that it's kind of also mentioned in the synopsis, but they find out that if you have a near-death experience, there is a possibility that you could get an extraordinary ability. So the characters basically kill themselves in order to try to get a superpower. And these descriptions I think could be very triggering. Just a warning for that because they're kind of like describing the methods that they use to get that near death experience. So that is dark. But the tension between like Eli and Victor and the plan of revenge is very tense and it keeps me on the edge of my seat. So I'm very happy that I finally decided to pick this one up. I think I've had this on my shelves for over three years. I don't know. This might be the longest introduction I've ever had to a reading vlog. I hope you're still here with me. It is a quarter to 12, so I will be reading a little bit in this book, then I'm gonna go to bed, and tomorrow I'm gonna go thrift shopping with my mom. So yeah, good night. <laughs> Bye. Hi guys, okay, <laughs> so many things have been going on in the past 
couple of days. So today it is June 24th and I don't know if you can tell, I don't know if it's okay on camera, but my room is an absolute mess because yesterday, I think you've seen it in the vlog right now, I went to Ikea, so a lot of stuff that I bought. This is my two-person mattress. I'm just, it's like scattered around everywhere. And I found some cool stuff in like the thrift shop and at Ikea. In the city center today, I found this super cute mirror. Okay, wait, I need to hold it like this. It's like 15 euros and it has like a, how we call this in Dutch, macrame border around it. And I do want a bigger black mirror uh, above one of my dressers, dressoirs or something like that. And I also bought this giant vase because I want to put like dried flowers in here as well. I bought this for nine euros and looking back, I feel like I could have asked for less at the store, but I feel like it's a beautiful big vase. And I also got this super cute painting, which I kind of revamped. It makes me think of my vacations in France so much with like this lavender field. And then I painted the frame white with acrylic paint. This was 95 cents. <laughs> I do also have the paint that I want to paint my walls with. So it's like an olive grayish green. I'm so excited. I also received the new bookmarks that I designed and I'm so excited about these. They won't be in my shop probably somewhere until August because I am taking a full break during the month of July. So if you do want to order something from my Etsy shop, do it now. There's like a 20 to 50% discount on all the products in my store. So if you want to get something, now is your time. But with the next shop update, I will have this one, which is a cream white bookmark with a quote that I made myself, which is, I don't have a book buying problem. I'm creating a library because we always need a good excuse as to why we're buying more books. And this is one that I am the most proud of because this design took me so, so long and it is a Six of Crows inspired one. It says no mourners, no funerals on it. And then I drew like a wolf and a gun and all this like, gambling stuff and a crow of course i personally love these so much but i'm still working on ideas that i have for the next shop update i don't know yet what i want to put in my shop but what i'm gonna do right now is clean my room because it's a mess and then afterwards i'm gonna sit down relax finally read some more in my book because i'm at page 220 of vicious so i haven't made a lot of progress with this vlog on page 330 I think of Vicious. I don't know if I will be able to finish it before the end of this reading vlog which always makes me feel like bad about not having finished a book during a reading vlog but I still hope you had fun. Lately I've been feeling a bit insecure about what I've been posting on the YouTube but I thought let's show you how I would review this book on Readsy Discovery because it still would be amazing if you could participate in their charity reading challenge which is almost ending. I think Wednesday yeah it is gonna be the 30th of June will be the last last day that you can write reviews about any book that you have read. So let's say I want to review a Vicious. I'm taking my phone with me so you guys can see the little screenshot thingy. So if you haven't registered yourself at Discovery, you can do that, but I'm gonna log in with one of my Google accounts. So when I am logged in, I will click on my account and when it's loaded, I'm gonna click on library and press the little plus button. And now I can like import any of the books that aren't on Discovery since Discovery is very focused on indie books and Vicious is kind of like a regular regularly published book, I will be finding the URL for the book on Amazon, for instance. So I'm typing in Vicious by V.E. Schwab on Amazon. Now I'm gonna add the link to my URL and it has been added to my bookshelf. And now I can click on write a review. And then the only thing I need to do left is write a 200 page review on Vicious. And because they have lots of thoughts on this book, it's gonna be an easy one. And then when you have written your review and you press publish, that's all you gotta do. And it took you such a little effort and you raised money for charity. So that is really awesome. So definitely check out Reedsy Discoveries' this June reading challenge. So my plans for tonight are editing this video because it needs to go up tomorrow and I will be finishing reading Vicious by V.E. Schwab and writing my review on Reedsy. So even though this was kind of like a messy vlog, I still hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking somewhere here on the screen or on the button down below. And hopefully I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.